Hello everyone, name is Lisa, JJ Moon, T so Slash Game Reviews, everybody, and I want to give you my top 9 Call of Duty games overall. Now, I did recently did a video of the multiplayer of the top 9 Call of Duty multiplayers and the top 9 Call of Duty campaigns. The lists are different because certain campaigns are better, certain the certain stories are better, and certain multiplayers are better than the freaking where is the overall list. But there, this is overall list, and this is the games I would rather play in order from worst to best. And number 9, and so far this is only number nine by a little bit because number nine and number eight they were going back and forth for me number nine is call of duty ghost here's the name the campaign it's okay it's just super super fucking short the multiplayer it's not the worst i enjoyed extinction i enjoy knifing but overall it's not as great as it should have been it's really crappy in some cases but i'm not a hater of this game I find this game okay. It's a 7 out of 10. It's an average Call of Duty game. But it's in a, all those aspects of okayness, an okay multiplayer, to an okay freaking story. It just doesn't add up. So yeah, number 9 is Call of Duty Ghost. Number 8, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Here's the thing. This story, campaign, is the only reason why you should buy this game the campaign the story was simply amazing the end of captain soap mctav and the captain price's storyline macroff story it just builds up to a great great storyline the multiplayer though is shit i rather play ghost's multiplayer and modern warfare dreams multiplayer modern warfare dreams multiplayer was like modern warfare 2 multiplayer except graphics look crappier you waste an entire mag on someone freaking you could waste all your bullets and only kill one person or two. This game was horrendous. It was horrible. It was just tremendously bad. The multiplayer. The multiplayer is complete shit. I rank this game a 7 out of 10 as well. Same as Ghost. Just because the campaign was so amazing. But the multiplayer was fucking crap. Number 7. I mean number 8 is My World for 3. I think I'd rather play a multiplayer Ghost. But... This is the overall list, so those two are the crap ones. Let's start off with the good ones. Um, number seven is our net Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I enjoy the storyline. I love Kevin Spacey in this. Who cares if it's a predictable storyline? This was awesome. Love the campaign. The multiplayer, I like playing Exo Survive with four different people leveling up your guns. I found that fun. But for the most part, it was unenjoyable just because, here's the thing, there is no point for search and rescue infected because anyone could get you at any time. This game was hardly competitive, in my opinion, for its freaking um, multiplayer for search and destroy, search and rescue infected, so many different ones. I think Team Deathmatch was the most enjoyable one you could play. I played the PS3 version. This thing froze on me like a billion times, but even when it doesn't freeze, it's still a good, a playable game, but overall it's not my favorite. Out of a 10, I'm giving this game a 7.8 out of 10. This is like a C-plus video game. The multiplayer is amazing, but, I mean, the campaign is amazing, but the multiplayer is not. So, yeah, Advanced Warfare, 7.5 out of 10, or 7.8 out of 10. C-plus uh, C video game. Let's start off now with the Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Such a great campaign, you didn't need it for the last gen. Actually, the campaign wasn't really all that great. To hear, oh my god, the campaign was just very lackluster. It was probably one of the most least fun I had in a Call of Duty campaign. But it makes up for it with the multiplayer. The multiplayer is a en really enjoyable multiplayer. This multiplayer had a lot of good things about it with different class systems. Um, You get 12 different districts, 12 different specialist weapons. Um, it's just a pretty damn fun multiplayer, in my opinion. I just had a good time. I'm still having a good time with the multiplayer. Is there issues? Of course there is. It's Call of Duty games. Of course they have issues with spawn systems and all that shit. But overall, it made Call of Duty multiplayer fun again. We had freaking Modern Warfare 3. That trashed the multiplayer. Then Black Ops 2 came down and was like amazed by the multiplayer. Then came Ghost. Then came Advanced Warfare. But Black Ops 3 made it fun again for the multiplayer. So I... 10, I'm giving this game an 8.5 out of 10. It's a B. Um, a video game, probably one of the best video games I have right now for the PS4. And my fifth spot, so yeah, number 7 was Advanced Warfare, number 6 was Black Ops 
three and number five, I'm giving to World at War. I love World at War story. I just wish we could lay more of the Russians with Victor Reznov, played by Gary Oldman's voice. Um, I just absolutely love this. Um, the multiplayer was vicious. Um, I think this is the first time you actually used tanks in a freaking multiplayer. It's just brutal. And a lot of people didn't like the sniping in this, but it's love and hate with the sniping. But this game was such a brutal fashion in multiplayer. And here's the thing, I got on with hackers with this stuff, and I find this game still enjoyable to this day. I'd rather go back to World War compared to the other games. Out of a 10, I gave this game uh 8.8 .8 or a 9 out of 10. It's a B-plus video game. Or a minus video game as well. So yeah, that's number five, World of War. Number four, I'm getting to Black Ops 1. A great soundtrack with the best uh, campaign, in my opinion. This is the, easily the best of the campaigns of all the Call of Duty. I just love Mason and the numbers. Um, the multiplayer, yes, it was kind of lackluster in some cases, but we had some great moments. I wasn't a big fan of Mass, but it had some pretty dang great moments. Out of the 10, I'm giving this game a total of 9 out of 10. Uh, 9.2 out of 10. I just really enjoyed this video game. It's an A minus video game. Definitely check it out, especially for the campaign, because if not, you're missing out. And I like how it connects to World at War, too. You'll definitely like that game. So, number three is our Nemo Warfare. Here's the thing I never played a multiplayer, I didn't get into the multiplayer in this time, but I just played a campaign. So, I'm solely basing this game off its campaign, and overall, I just loved it. I loved it. Um, all gillied up. I love the beginning of Captain Price. Uh, it just felt like much more of a better game. And this was phenomenal for its time. And I still enjoy Modern Warfare. So yeah, number three, Modern Warfare. Gave this game a 9.3. A little bit higher than Black Ops 1. Just because I didn't play the multiplayer. But everyone tells me it's good. Um, My second favorite Call of Duty game is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This campaign had connects right after Black Ops 1. Well, not right after, but it connects to Black Ops 1. You're Alex and Mason's um, son, and you're doing your own stuff. And the villain, this one, um, not resident, not resident from Macroft. There was um, I, I forgot the villain's name in this entire video game for the main thing. But overall, it was fun. The zombies were awesome. You get to choose different sides of the story. You basically don't have to choose. Um, it's not just one single story. You could every single event that you lead up to. It will ultimately lead up to a different story, to a different event of certain people who won't die, certain people that will die. It's all by choice. So the campaign is mostly about choice. Multiplayer was easily the best multiplayer of all Call of Duty. Love the Hunter Killer. Love the score streaks. Love the, the equipment. Every single gun was really well balanced. Snipers, shotguns. Everyone had a fair share. This was just a great Call of Duty game for its multiplayer. My favorite multiplayer for all Call of Duty games, but a pretty good uh, campaign as well. So, yeah, my second favorite game, Black Ops 2. Now, my number one favorite um, Call of Duty game is, to me, one with the best, pretty uh, much a great-ass campaign and a great-ass multiplayer. I got on this multiplayer with freaking uh, hackers, and I still enjoyed it. I loved going around with the P90, just shooting up people. The maps were awesome. I just really enjoyed this video game. I love this campaign with uh, the with Mac Roth, with... Um, the, the freaking how you shoot all those civilians in a freaking place. No Russian. I just couldn't believe how violent this video game was. And how great it was. And the more of Soap McTav is of Captain Price. How they're during the Modern Warfare Saga. And I just enjoyed this freaking one uh, video game. It had a pretty great camp. It had a great campaign. It had a pretty dang great uh, multiplayer. You know I had hackers in it. And it's my overall favorite Call of Duty game. So yeah, everyone, that's my top 9 Call of Duty games from worst to best. Subscribe if you like, disagree down at the bottom, leave a comment down below, let me know, respect my opinion, I respect yours. And yeah, everyone, that's my top 9 Call of Duty games overall list of what I would play from worst to best. So yeah, everyone, just leave a comment down below what's your top 9. Alright everyone, and please sign off for your day, everybody. Bye-bye. Uh,